Hello everyone! Today I'm doing another wish video and today I'm going to be trying out some wigs. I am not experienced with wigs. I want to put that out right now. I had to watch some like tutorials before this video and I'm probably still going to put them on wrong. But I'm going to do my best to put them on, show you how they look and let you know if I think they feel like good quality. I have a bunch of wigs here. I don't reckon I'll use all of them for this video. I think I've got like 10. Maybe I'll do half. I don't know. I'm just going to like get started and try to figure it out. So the way I've seen people tuck away their long hair, because this is what I struggle with, is like making my hair flat so that the wig fits on my head because I feel like I already have a really big head. Um, I see people like braiding their hair and like pinning it up. So I'm going to do that quickly. And I'm just going to use bobby pins. This box really annoys me because they've called them bob pins. And who the heck calls them bob pins? If you call them bob pins, you need to reevaluate your entire life. Yeah, I'm not even like good at braiding my hair at the best of times. I'm already looking like a hot mess. I got sent a free um, fashion weaving cap, which I'm going to pop on. Ooh. So the very first wig I have here is a long black one with a fringe. I'm trying to pair them up to the pictures. I believe that this one must be this one here. It's called New Long Black Fluffy Straight Cosplay Wig with Fringe Bangs Wig. Do you call it a fringe or bangs? I've always said fringe, but it's such a weird word. So that's how it looks apparently. And I've seen people putting on wigs and apparently you put them on upside down. So I'm gonna do that. How long are these bangs though? Have I got this on right? I guess if you go like that, it's not so bad. Like my hairline is like right there, so I can't really put it back any further. Like how? That looks weird. You know, it's not like one of those lace front wigs or anything. It's just a synthetic wig. It's very like thin at the ends too. So it's like real big at the top and then it gets really thin. Like there's like layers, can you see? I'm wearing the wrong color for you guys to be able to see this wig well. I'm just so confused as to why there's like short bits and then just like these two strands of long hair. And the fringe is just so ridiculously long. <laughs> Who cut this? Seriously, if I like bundle it all up, like that's how much hair. Like it's so thin at the ends. To be be fair in the picture you can kind of see it looks quite thin at the ends so I guess it's like an accurate representation it's just that the fringe is so blimmin long like <laughs> I don't think I recommend this one and there's quite a lot of shedding it's just like falling apart so yeah I don't think I really recommend this one unless you're going for like the mullet look Ooh, pink let's try this one this one has dark roots this one's like definitely being packaged a little bit they've put some tissue paper and stuff in there so it's not all like limp. The hairs feel like synthetic but they feel soft. So I'm assuming that this is this one here. This is called the Synthetic Nun Lace Front Ombre Wig Long Curly Pink Cosplay Wig and it was $19. Did I say how much this one was? The black one that I wore before was $21 so definitely not worth it. Well this one's actually got like clips and stuff on the inside as well which is quite nice just to make sure it's nice and secure. This one says it's lace front but it's not really like lace front. It's just... Like it's made out of lace, but you know, it doesn't have like the little lace bit that you can trim and make it look real realistic. However, for a cheap wig like this one looks pretty cool, like cool for Halloween and stuff. And if I like plucked out some of my actual hair from just around my hairline, obviously it's a different color, but it kind of makes it blend a little bit better. This one is insanely long. It like reaches my bottom. I like the wave it gives. I think that one's kind of cool. But yeah, definitely does not look natural around the hairline whatsoever. But I don't hate it. I feel like it would be really cool for Halloween or like dress up or like photos or something. I love the length actually. It's super cool. If I had darker eyebrows and stuff, it would look a little bit more convincing, I think. So much better than the last one and better quality as well. I'm not getting any hair fall. It's not falling apart. And yeah, I like how it's got clips on the inside. It's just, yeah, it's not realistic, of course. It doesn't have the nice front and the roots and stuff are a bit funny, but what do you guys think? It's kind of cool. I feel like compared to this picture though, it is definitely a different color. This one's more of a like candy floss kind of color, but to be honest, like that's probably not even a real photo of this wig. That's what always happens on Wish. They always steal people's photos and like, like even me, I've got photos of me on Wish that layers and stuff that I've bought off Wish. It's like a similar look though. It's not like, you know, completely different. So I actually really like this one. For once, I actually like something off Wish. I'll list below my previous Wish videos as well. Like a couple of them went viral and I also tried on prom dresses off Wish. That was my most recent one and my nipples were literally 
out. So go check it out. Hashtag free the nipple. Okay, this next one is like a little bob haircut style, which I'm so excited to try on. I cannot wait to see what I look like with this hairstyle because when I actually have my hair short, it looks bad. But I think it's just because of the texture of my own hair. So I'm excited to try on a wig. So this one was packaged really well as well. It had like the tissue paper and it also came with a wig cap and a comb. This one looks like it's got quite a realistic like hairline which is kind of cool. Fashion, short bob, curly wig, hair, full wig and it was $18. So this is the cheapest one yet. This one feels like such good quality on the inside too. Like it's got a proper like lining, it's got the clips and everything and it just feels durable. There's no loose threads or anything like it feels really good. <laughs> I put it on so crooked. My wig skills are not on point. Oh, I feel like it gives me like a five head. I love the way it feels. This one feels so like actually realistic. Like the hair texture, it's like kind of coarse in a good way. It doesn't feel like real plasticky, you know? The very front gives it away the way they've sewn the hairs on. I think you could trim them though if you were actually good at this whole wig thing. You could trim off some little, actually let's just try it. I'm just gonna like take some scissors and just like cut some little bits off. I literally like am obsessed with watching wig videos. Like people that are good at putting on wigs. It's so satisfying. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's like so bouncy. I don't really think I suit hair this length. <laughs> it's so dark on me, it's washing me out. It would definitely help if I had darker brows. Let me go quickly check on a different top. I would try on the first one again for you, but it's honestly not even worth it. Trust me, the quality was so bad, it was falling apart. This is what this wig looks like. The only thing I really hate about it is the very front, how it's just this awkward, like I wish it had a proper like lacy front bit, but I love the cut. Um, I think it's really fun. I really want to get one of these in blonde for like when I want to like have short hair and it's such a good price and I think this would be amazing. Like even if you did want to wear this out and about, if people didn't really know what a wig looked like, like you could probably get away with it. Does it look like the picture? Kind of. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks to the beginning of my YouTube days when I used to have like almost black hair. <laughs> oh my god, Jessica Rabbit, okay. Once again, this one is stuffed. It is so long. I love, love, love the like body curl, body wave hairstyle. <laughs> so this one was $22. High roller. More expensive than the others. And it is a copper red hair wig for women Jessica cosplay wigs. And it looks really pretty on the picture. So let's give it a go. It doesn't look lace print or anything like that. It's literally like a dress up wig. I love the color. I want to dye my hair like this in real life. I probably changed my mind once I actually tried on. <laughs> this is not going so well. So clearly this one's got like the worst hairline ever. But I mean for Halloween or something it's pretty cool. Like I've bought red wigs off Trade Me and stuff for Halloween that have cost me literally like 40 or 50 dollars that I envisioned looking like this. That did not end up looking like this. So to be fair like I think I would keep this for like Halloween when I want to do like you know Jessica Rabbit like if I wanted to do something like that. So good for dress up like it's actually really thick and lush. Doesn't feel like one of those cheap shitty thin wigs that barely even give you any hair. Like this is voluminous. It's not as like tidy as it looks in the picture. Mine looks far more like 80s. Um, it looks like I've had a perm. But for a realistic wig, like you want to fool people, you're not going to fool anybody. Um, is it worth the money? I guess it depends. You know, like I said, I've spent more on red wigs for Halloween that I didn't even end up using or wearing because they were just such shocking quality. Um, I would never wear this personally, just out and about though. Next up I have this like dark blonde with a dark root wig. Once again, they probably stole this photo, I'm assuming. Like I doubt that's really it. This one was the most expensive yet, $26. Woo! So this one is a long curly wig, heat resistant synthetic, lace front wig, and it came in different colours, but this is the one I went for of course, this kind of like golden blonde and brown kind of duo. I'm actually excited to see what I look like, this kind of hair colour. Once again, this one looks like good quality, it's actually got like a really good lace underneath, and the hair actually feels very, very, very soft. And it's got a very curly hairstyle, so let's chuck this on. Okay, so once again this hairline is similar to the other one where it's like really shocking at the front. Honestly, I feel like you could just cut this and like make it look so much better. I just don't really know how, you know, to try and make it look like baby hairs or something could have just ruined it. <laughs> it's not like it made it look worse. <laughs> I feel like this hairstyle just makes it look like I've got a giant forehead. Okay, the actual quality though, um, once again feels really good to be honest. I feel like this is kind of like that first one where it gets quite thin at the ends, but it's not as bad because it is curly so it doesn't look really like ratty or anything. And once again I feel quite like 80s or like 90s. 
<laughs> Nani's pop star. If I just go through it with my fingers, it kind of makes it look nicer. It fits well. It feels a little bit itchy though, this one. None of the others have felt itchy. Honestly, I feel like if this one actually had like a nicer lace front, like a proper lace front, I feel like this would be one of the most realistic ones. Like it looks quite real, don't you reckon? It's just like the forehead part that doesn't look real. Like if I covered that up, like you wouldn't be able to tell. I just like crop out my head. Like that looks real and I think it's because it matches my eyebrows too to be fair. Well, let me know what you guys think anyway. <laughs> what is this one? Okay, I think it's this one here. What do you guys reckon? I think it must be. So this one was $16. Fancy long wavy curly hair woman cosplay costume wig hair. Very descriptive. It looks like a nice, oh there's a bit of plastic stuck in it, that's random. It looks like a nice quality on the inside again. It's got little clips in there. Only at the back though actually. There's none on the top to secure it. it smells really bad. This one definitely feels very plasticky. Also in the picture, this one has a lace front so it's definitely not the same wig. You don't get a lace front with this wig. Let me know if you want a round two. Like I said, I've got more wigs here. And also maybe I could like find some more expensive ones on Wish. Like try out expensive wigs on Wish that actually have like the lace front and everything. Like the super realistic ones. And also the layers are really funny. Like there's like this huge chunk of hair there. And then this random long tail back here. It's like really hard to brush as well. I love the color. I think it's a beautiful dark brown shade. A really nice warm dark brown. The actual wig itself is not very good quality. And it doesn't sit very nicely. <laughs> like what is this doing? It's just like chilling. And yeah, the top's not realistic. Once again, can totally go ahead. Oh god, look at this piece. I'd have to cut off way more. But you get the idea. This one isn't very good. This one and the first one are like the worst ones, I think. This side looks okay. Um, but this side does not. This one definitely looks wiggy. <laughs> so this is like the sixth one, right? I think I tried on six. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Let me know what you guys thought and let me know which ones were your favorite. I think my favorites were definitely the short brunette one. I really liked the pink one even though it wasn't like natural looking but I liked the pink one and for something costume I actually really liked that red one. Anyway if you enjoyed the video thumbs up. Leave your requests down below. Let me know which wish video to do next and if you would like part two wig video let me know and yeah thumbs up so that I know if you like it or not. Because <laughs> I still have more and I kind of want to order some more and try some more out like I said. Love you guys so much. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!